All right, today we're doing a simple React beginner level interview question. We're doing some filtering and sorting. So we have this uh, component. You see, we are loading some of the some of the data which has some movies, genres, release year. So pretty basic stuff. If I filter it with action, then it will only show me action movies. Pretty generic, right? If I select comedy, it will show me only comedies. And if I sort them by, let's say, release year, then these are sorted, right? I know this is pretty basic, but I have seen this kind of question coming in technical interviews, especially for beginners, a lot. So if you're preparing for those interviews, then I would I would highly recommend doing these type of questions. We know that we need to do some filtering and we need to do some sorting because this is what expected. So before I show you like the solution or explain you the solution, um, Let's create a file. This is just a React. This is just an XJS application, and uh, let's create just a test folder in here. Create a test dot JS file. Now, and before I show you solution, explain you the solution. We need to do a few things. We need to understand how do you do filter and how do you do sorting in JavaScript. If you can do these two things, then solving this problem is a piece of cake. So let's say we have this array, array of numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we need to filter out even numbers. So what we're doing is we are using a filter method, which is given by JavaScript, and it accepts an anonymous function. So what we're doing, we're passing an anonymous function, and we're passing a variable num. So this num variable will loop inside this numbers, and it will filter out all the numbers which are even. So to show you that, let me create a new terminal. Test.js file. So if I do node test.js, you can see I have it returned 246, which are even numbers. So in our application, we can see that in our component, sorry, we can see that we have this filtering. Like if I if I filter the data, it only shows me the comedy. The action genre and comedy genre, right? So we know we know that we need to do some kind of filtering. That's fine. So next we have sorting, like we are sorting by title or sorting by year. Now what we have, we have again have a numbers array, and then we are sorting this these numbers in ascending orders. So what we're doing in in this is we have a const ascending, and we are creating a copy. Like we're not mutating the original array. What we're doing, we're creating a copy of that and we're applying this sort method and we're passing two variables, A and B. And this way of doing, like if you run that, it will ascend, it will, sorry, sort these numbers in ascending order. So if I, and similarly, we have B minus A, which will sort them in descending order. So if I clear this guy, and if I run node again, See, the first will get descending order, one, two, five, seven, nine, and then we get descending. So these two things you need to understand before you try to solve this one, because again, you need to understand sorting and filtering. I hope this is not too difficult or not too difficult to understand. So this video is brought to you by Foxy. So this is the tool I'm using to record by screen. And simultaneously, I am doing editing in it. So pretty cool tool like you can you can go and you can customize a lot of things here like you can add the zoom effects and you can add the, you can change the cursor and a lot of things you can do uh, it is available for both windows and mac and if i show you so if you see this if you see this zoom effect um this is all automatic like I, this zoom effect i didn't do anything so they have this inbuilt zoom feature which tracks your cursor pretty cool yeah so if you like please check out my link in the description uh, I'm not using any video video editor or anything to edit this video. I will do it on my own. And if you want to share your own tutorials, please check it out. I think it's pretty awesome, pretty super cool product. And now back to our video. So let's go back to here. And now we'll try to do our solution. And before I do that, let's do like don't let's don't do them together. Let's do the filtering first and then I'll show you how to do the sorting. Right now, what I have, I just have the filtering. I know it says sort and filter. I can sort it by action or comedy genre, right? So let's go back here. 
and see what I did. Let's delete this. We don't need it. Don't need that as well. So first of all, we have this movies data, right? Which is pretty generic. We have a title, we have genre, and we have release year because we need them, right? Because we need them for because this is the requirement. We have genre and we have release year, and then we need to sort them by release year, and we need to sort them by genre. Pretty basic. We have uh, objects here, and which is inside an array. Pretty basic stuff. Now what we're doing is let's let's see let's see the uh, the GSX here. So first of all, we have this div. This div has a select tag. So because we need that, right? This is a select tag. Okay. And in the select, we we're passing two things. First of all, we have this on change handler. So whenever we select an option, or, and whenever like we try we change an option, this thing will trigger. And the value has the initial value. So if I go to the value here so this is we're using use state here so what do we have first of all we have the filter genre empty we're not filtering with anything then we have the setup function and this setup function lives inside our handler so once you click this we are passing whatever the value user picks so when i select when i select action that you that set state that that set filter genre is set to whatever we have selected which is action in the state and you can log that out as well so if you want to log you can do console log console dot log genre is and then you can pass the event dot target dot value so if you save that and come here open the dev tools here and if i refresh that if i select action the genre is action and if i select comedy the genre is comedy yep. So we know what these two things doing here. Now, the next thing is we have this filtered movie. So what, as I showed you before in the test file, I think I removed that code, but that's fine. That it's going through the movies array. We're applying the filter method here, and this anonymous function we're passing movie. So if it if it changes like we have changed the filter genre right it will give us only the genre which we have selected so this movies when we apply this filter function inside this filtered movie which we are showing here so because filtered movie has the data now we are not mutating this one because this is fixed right we should not change that what we're doing we are changing this filtered movies and we are mapping over it with simply we passing our uh, like we pa we passing title release year and genre that's it so it's just pretty basic gsx so what happens here is if you go here again when we change the when we change this use state it re-renders this component right and when it re-renders it runs this function this is what happening here and we are filtering the genre here if our genre matches then only we show that data so that's how if you go here when you select action you just see the action movies what i can do is i can create a use effect hook just to show you that it actually changes right so console.log filtered movies and we're passing this as dependency and if I move this guy somewhere here so I press or reload this and we have this data right maybe I should give it a name um 
filter movies yeah we can just give it a name that now we have this filtered did not didn't it say filtered movies yeah it should so if i refresh it now we have this filter movies right now i'm not selecting any filter so it's giving me all the data right as soon as i select action c now it only showing me this which has genre of action genre of action and genre of action this is what we're doing and filter part is done this is all you need to do when you're doing the filtering that is all you need to do now your filter is working and that's the half of our challenge and now let's move to the sorting part as well now if i cancel that now we have our sorting here as well so now let's see how to do the sorting part so what we have here now so we have now another select tag because we need to select it right and first the value is sort option so because by default like we need to sort something somewhere right so we're giving it title by default it will be sort by title and again we have this handle change here to handle sort similarly we're passing our sorting as an event so event or target value if we pick title it will pass it title otherwise it will pass to the year we release year. so far so good it's pretty same like what we did in filter now we have this function as we talked about in our test file here that we're using the sort we need to ascending order we will using passing two variables a and b a minus b for ascending and b minus a for descending pretty straightforward this is what we're doing for release here but we also have title as well we need to sort by title so with title we just need to pass the a dot title dot local compare b dot title so what this is doing is because see if we have data which is in let's say we have string right let's say apple and we have banana then we have kiwi right this is already in ascending order per se because of the alphabets a comes before b b comes before k so this is what we're doing here we are comparing with titles so if you if the sort option is selected as title this sorted movies will have the movies in order of their title and again i can show you by using a use effect hook use effect And console dot log sorted movies and then we do sorted movies here if i pass the dependency as well sorted movies if i come here do the refresh dot i and we're just giving a refresh now we have all the so movies i mean in sort you you'll get all the movies because well they're sorting you're not filtering right but interesting thing here is let's see um f g h i j k l m p s so this is sort by title by default if i do release here we have the new data now t is before f before g so because the release here let's see the release here if you can see that 1972 comes first and the 1994 so this is sorted by uh year and that's it i mean that's all we have like we, we don't need to complicate it further that's all this um challenge or this interview question was all about um yeah if you still have any question please put that in comment section i think we're good and i'll see you with another react challenge in the next video